So what's good, homies? It's your man, King Ray Ray. Look, if um, I want to tell y'all something, man. Um, it's over for you if you don't have the wherewithal and the internal strength to do what's best for you. You know what I mean? It's over for you. Like, you can't still be living the type of life where you're dependent on people to do things for you that they never done. You're dependent on people to help you through situations that no one has ever helped you through. You're dependent on people to help you build a life that you want when no one really cares what life you build. We live in a world where everyone is concerned with themselves and you're in trouble if you haven't developed that mindset where you've learned to prioritize yourself and put yourself first. You have to put yourself first. Now, of course, I don't mean, you know, disregard your children and all of those things. Putting you first is putting them first. When you put you first, you put yourself first by making sure you're ability to provide for them as a parent and care for them and teach them and instruct them is up to par. So that is taking care of you. So let's not be facetious. What I'm saying is the people around you that you continue to make sacrifices for, the people that will never make a sacrifice for you, the people who don't have the understanding necessary to understand and perceive that you have the right to look out for yourself first. Your children are not dependent on you. Sometimes your parents get older, they're dependent on you. You know, your, your employees are dependent on you. If you work a job, your employer is dependent on you. There are people who are depending on you, but but you have to make sure that the things that you do benefit you as well. Never put yourself in a situation where you're doing something that benefits someone else but doesn't benefit you. So I'm not saying be so selfish that everything you do only benefits you because you'll have a very small, closed-in world because you're going to need other people to benefit your growth process as you benefit theirs mutually. I'm saying don't do things that don't benefit you at all because those things are a waste of time. So even if you're doing something charitable, you're doing that because it benefits your spirit, it benefits your soul, it benefits your psyche. But to do something that doesn't benefit you at all is complete waste of time. If if you spend a week working on a project day and night that doesn't benefit you at all, you have wasted a week of your life, man. You have wasted what? 168 hours of your life. You simply can't afford to do it. You understand? It's not a life that we could live. And if you're still living that life at this late stage in human existence, man, you're not going to fare very well because no one else is going to do you like that. The only people who are going to love you like that are the people who can't do anything for you. Your small children. They're the ones, someone that you take care of who can't take care of themselves, whether that be those children, which most times it is, or they be your spouse. If you have a spouse that can't care for themselves and you care for them, whether it's a physical ailment or they're in financial despair, you have to understand that they'll never reciprocate what you're giving them because they look at you as a savior. They look at you as a provider. Someone who looks at you solely as a provider would never look, they would never view you as someone who needs to be provided for. They don't have any provision for you because people truly believe that if you are a provider in their lives, then you get joy from that. Sometimes people don't understand you just do it because it's your responsibility or you've taken on a responsibility that isn't yours. Not everything that you do that you think is positive is something that you should be doing. And you're not going to be blessed for doing everything that you do just because you think it's good. Sometimes you're doing things that aren't what God wants you to be doing. Sometimes you're doing things that enable someone to be lazy, to be, you know, to just give up on life and just rely on you and your charitable efforts in their life. That's not the way you must be, man. This is a tough world. It is a tough world. It's a tough life. And no matter how much you make, no matter how successful you are, everything could end tomorrow. Like it could be over tomorrow. This is not a game that we need to be playing. Like we can't play games like this. We must understand that life is meant to be lived by those who understand the blessing that life is. And if you're wasting time doing things that don't benefit your life, then you're wasting your life. At the very moment you waste your life at any time, you don't deserve that life. You're living a life that truly shouldn't belong to you because there's someone out there who wishes they had the opportunity that you have, who wishes they had the, the, the available gifts that you had, who wishes they had the available support system that you had because they would skyrocket in life while you're sitting being petty in life. And I'm not saying just focus 100% on money or, or financial success or any of those things. I'm saying that you 
must take the time to develop yourself into the person you need to be in order to fulfill your life. See, there's a thing called joy in life and there's a thing called fulfillment in life. You must fulfill your life. There's something that you need to be doing in life and you got to do it. There's something you should be pursuing in life and you got to pursue it. There's something you should be building in life and you got to build it. And I'm just saying to you, man, don't sit around and waste time doing things that don't benefit you. You only have so much time in this life, man. Like you really only have so much time in this life. And so every moment that you waste is a moment you won't get back. And when you're in your 20s, then you feel like you got your whole life left in front of you. Even when you're in your 30s, you feel like you got your whole life left in front of you. But once you get into your 40s, 50s, 60s, man, you start looking at less life left than you've already lived. See, at 20, even if you live to be 60, man, you got double your age left. At 40, if you live to be 60, hey, man, you, you, well, you got half of your life expectancy left. Half of your lifespan that you live so far, that's all you got left. So the goal is to think about health as wealth and do something that benefits your psyche. Do something that heals your soul. Do something that benefits your spirit. Don't be motivated by the money. Don't be motivated by the approval. Don't be motivated by the popularity. Don't be motivated by the validation because physical external validation will never measure up to internal validation. When you know you're doing the right thing, when you know you're doing something beneficial to people's life, it's a different ball game. It changes the way you perceive yourself. It changes the way you view the world. And the gifts that you have aren't meant just for you to enjoy and keep inside of your house. The gifts that you have are meant for you to expose them to the world and show them the goodness of the Most High and see how the Most High heals their life through people so we can all understand that none of us is on an island, man. As much as you want to be reclusive, you're not on an island. Because even if you're a reclusive content creator and you never come outside, you know what you have? You have a community of people online. You have an online family. You have an online um sanctity, I guess, uh, what do we call it? An online comfort zone where you're amongst people who view things like you, who live like you, and who understand like you understand. So even then, you still need people, but you got to get out here and deal with people in the physical realm. That's the only way to exchange energy with people. And that's the biggest thing that we must remember. In order to achieve what you want to achieve in this life, you must build energy and exchange energy with these people or build what you want to build, build your life and exchange energy with people who are building their lives as well. Because the more time you spend wasting on things that don't benefit your life, the more time you're going to hope and wish and pray that you could have back because you only value the time you wasted when you look at it in retrospect, as you're wasting the time, it's nothing to you because if it was, you wouldn't be wasting it. So remember, don't dedicate your time, effort, and energy to anything that doesn't benefit you, but benefit someone else. I'm not saying everything must benefit you solely, but it must benefit you some. Because if you haven't made up in your mind that you need to prioritize yourself that way, in this life, it's over for you. Peace.